Welcome to the demonstration video for the Teen Coder Java Programming course. In this short video, we'll show you the things that your students can accomplish in this course. The Teen Coder Java Programming online course contains a full two semesters of Java instruction, including expanded labs and exercises for AP Computer Science students. All of our courses come with self-study student course material. This material is designed to make your students really enjoy their computer experience. Students will use their course material and a computer to complete hands-on activities in each chapter. Now, this combination of text and hands-on experience lets them see their work come to life. Don't have computer experience yourself? No problem. We have solution guides that will give you everything you need to assist your student as they work through the course. Each of our online courses contain automatically graded lesson quizzes and chapter tests, so you can easily track your students' progress. Our teacher material contains quiz and test answer keys and complete solution guides for each of your students' projects. Worried that programming might be too hard for your student? Watch as we create a program in just a few seconds. So here you can see we have the Eclipse software open on the screen, and this is the free software that your student will be using to complete the projects during this course. And we're going to create a very simple project that's going to just get the username on this computer and output it to the screen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some code to our file. We're going to create a variable name called username. And now that we have that variable, we need to assign the computer's username to that variable. So we're going to do that with the system object. And we're going to use a method called getProperty. And the key value we're interested in is user.name. And we always end our statements in Java with a semicolon. Now we have the value, we need to output it to the screen. We're going to do that with a special object called a JOptionPane. And we're going to use a method called show message dialog. And we're going to tell it we're going to use this window. And our message is going to be hello with a space. And then we're going to add on our username value. And again, we end our statement with a semicolon. Now we're done adding our code. To run it, we just go up and press this play button. And when we press the play button, asks us if we want to save our project before we run it. We do. So we'll click on OK. And there is our message. You can see the hello and then my username. So this shows you how quickly you can create a Java program with just a few simple lines of code. Now we will show you the final project in this course. In this activity, the student will use their skills to create a chess-like program. In the final project for this course, the student will be putting their newfound Java skills to the test with a game called Jailbreak. In this game, one player is attempting to get the kingpin to the edge of the board, while the other player's deputies are working hard to recapture the kingpin and his henchmen. Pieces are captured when the opponent has them surrounded. In the code for the game, students will use object-oriented techniques to create each of the objects and pieces in the game. Our courses include instructional videos that cover every chapter and lesson. While these video lessons are not a replacement for reading the text lessons, they are ideal for students who learn better with audio-visual reinforcement of the material. Each video lasts around 5 to 10 minutes and will describe the lesson concepts with graphics, animation, and live action video. If you need any more information or if you have additional questions, please feel free to visit our website at www.homeschoolprogramming.com. We're always willing to answer questions by email as well. Thanks for watching.